Today we're going to create something for the tech team. Today we're making a GitHub dashboard. So for GitHub, there's a bunch of data there, but there are no like good analytics uh, for it to actually understand what is happening behind it. And most of it is because none of these metrics are actually relevant for developers, like how many lines of code were written, how many commits, all of these metrics can be gamed. So we're going to take our shot at it. I would like this to be some kind of engaging dashboard where we can see how many PRs have been made this week, how many commits have been made, but in some way where developers are in focus and potentially over time, this might be even some kind of gamified uh, thing. So let's just take a crack at it. I'm not sure how this is going to work out. So my co-founder Leon, he was very much against it when I was brainstorming with him, but uh, let's just build it and see how it looks. So we want to track PRs, we want to track releases, and these are the top metrics that we want to show. All right, so we have the, the whole plan right here. So we will have three, three pages. One will show the branches, number of active branches and number of stale branches, but not stale in a GitHub sense, but rather branches that had the last commit in more than two weeks. We will have a, a weekly, weekly view. This will be a homepage where we'll show every week and the number of releases that happened that week and some kind of a leaderboard, how many merged PRs uh, from a specific person there were. And finally, we'll have the charts, charts for you, number of merged PRs, number of releases, number of closed PRs, this is basically to track if someone is, is gaming the system and time to close a PR. Uh, yeah, and that's it. Let's go and record uh, the prompt. I wanna create a GitHub dashboard that will enable me to... And we're here in Pythagora. I'll just paste my prompt and let's go. All right, let's see. All right, uh, that's pretty much it. That's uh, pretty good. I'll just go ahead with it. Let's see what Pythagora cooked. Okay, it's uh, it's a little broken. All right, I'll tell it first to to fix this. Just told it that the page is broken. There, are, you know, things. There is a lot of white space on the top, and that the sidebar goes over the main content. But otherwise, I think uh, it, it will be pretty cool. You know, usually I'm very much. I don't I don't care if it's like black and white. But I want a little more more color here. I want it to be a little more more playful, so I'll, I'll play around with it a little bit. Please make the app to be more colorful. Use greenish colors, but don't overdo it. Make it nice, subtle, and slick. So let's see what it what it comes up with. But other than that, it looks pretty uh, pretty good. The dashboard, open PRs, stale PRs, total branches, stale branches. Weekly activity. Nice. I like it. I like it. I'm not sure if my team is going to like it, but but I like it. Yeah, I, I think this could be cool, but we'll see what developers say. All right. I like this. I like it. It's a little better. It's accept the errors, but let's just go and fix all. All right. Um, nice open PR stale. Ah, let's go with it. I I think this is going to be cool. So uh, we're done with front end. Let's go on to the back end. Implement the entire back end. Uh, GitHub integration and fetching all the data from GitHub. So let's let's see how it does. And now it seems to be. Uh, working well and the first thing that we need to do is set up first log in as an admin and set up the github settings so let's do that so with most integrations there will be some kind of config that you need to set up and the best thing is that you can always ask pythagora about it so this time i'm i think it should be fine but in general, keep in mind that whenever you don't know something, just ask it. You don't have to go in a chat mode or anything like that. You can just ask it 
and it will tell you what, what to do. Uh, when I add the GitHub token, it doesn't save it and the data is not pulled from my real GitHub. Please fix saving of credentials and implement pooling from real repos. Oh, here are the instructions. Nice, this is cool. I, I already did this, but this is very, very good to, to have. Okay, it's saved. Let's see if it's saved. It is not. When I save the GitHub configuration, it says it's saved, but when I refresh the page, everything is empty. Also, none of the data pulled is my data. If you watched uh, multiple videos like this, maybe it, it might become boring, but this is something that people don't understand. Prompting or sending a message to an AI shouldn't be thought of like prompt engineering. You don't have to do anything special. You just need to tell it what you are experiencing and that's it. It will do the rest. All right, it's telling me that it fixed it. I'm curious to see if that is the case. Settings are saved. No, it's not working. What the hell? I just told it again, so let's see. Uh, it's still not working. Uh, there's nothing in the back end uh, logs that indicates that the tokens uh, are saved. So basically with this, what I did, I checked uh, the, the back end logs and saw that there is nothing happening there. So I just told it and let's see how it does right now. All right, so we got it back, but we're seeing quite, a, quite many errors. I'm a developer and I can read logs and all these things. But uh, you can look these logs even if you are not a professional developer. You will see meaningful, meaningful things. So, for example, uh, in, in the logs, if you just see all the logs, there is a bunch of uh, text here. But if you click errors only, you will see all the logs with errors. And here you can clearly see uh, that it says, please configure GitHub settings first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to set it up again. Okay, it's saved. Let's see. All right, it's finally saved. Uh, so this works. This is nice. Now let's see if the integration actually works. All right, it's getting some branches. All right, there we go. We have the branches, guys. So the branches screen are basically uh, done. We have the fix uh, for for releases here. Hopefully, we'll we'll see what it says. It will start uh, try to attempt to fetch formal releases, which I think I'm going to tell the team to start doing the formal releases. If no formal releases exist, fall back to fetching tags and treating them as releases. So let's see. Nope, we still don't have any releases. Nope zero releases so i'll have to tell it a little more tags i'm not sure what should i tell it i told it that it's uh, it's not working the tags are not properly fetched here is how the tags uh look like and i just pasted it uh url i hope that it will it will get it from here so it theoretically it should be able to get it uh, like the, this is a tag 2.5.16. Uh, In reality, I should have told it, for example, that this is a tag, but let's see. Um, it says that is cached data. Oh, there we go. We actually, maybe it, it didn't have to do anything. It was actually my issue. I, I literally didn't didn't refresh refresh the data. I'm going to restore uh this back because actually we don't it, it, it's it, it is working uh, yeah it is working nice um and there we go there we go let's see the charts there we go we have the releases as well we're going to see in the final edit how long it took but around two hours so basically within two hours we have our github team dashboard so on the home page, we have the number of open PRs, stale PRs. This is something that, you know, the PRs that are in the backlog, they haven't been uh, solved for a while. The total branches, stale branches, this is something that we need to clean up. We have per week uh, releases. We have top contributors whose PRs were merged the most. Uh, these, are, these are the developers in Pythagora. 
a number of releases. Each one we can expand. We can see other contributors, releases that were made. So nice. Merged PRs. This is the, the, the home page. We have the branches, which are active, which is stale. Uh, charts, you know, how many merged pull requests, how many releases per week, closed pull requests, average time to close a PR per week. Uh, and finally, settings. Guys, this is it. Within two hours, we have something very, very cool. I'm super excited to see how my team reacts to it. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how they how they react. Um, some developers might not be super excited about this, but uh, yeah, this is pretty much it. Two hours, GitHub team tracking dashboard. And that's it.